Hello everybody, this is Teacher Brett with our new YouTube channel called Get Smart with Teacher Brett and Sinan. Now right now, Sinan's holding the camera, so this video is going to be only me talking in English and we are going to be talking about something very important today. It's something you will use every day, well not every day, but a lot in your life. It's super useful math. I know in math class, a lot of times you learn math stuff, and you're like, what is this? I'm never going to use this. Well, this is something you will use all the time, and I'll show you how. This is called a ratio. R-A-T-I-O. Now, we are going to be talking about a lot of different things on this channel, and you need to know what ratios are and how they work in order to expand into other topics. So what ratios do is they allow you to compare different amounts compared to the same. So the best way to kind of go forward with this is to just show you an example, right? So now we have Coke Zero, two bottles of Coke Zero. All right, so you see they're two different sizes, right? So this one is 12 baht and this one is 10 baht. So which one should you buy? Which one is the better value? So which one is the better buy? Which one allows you to get more value for your money? Well, this is what ratios tell you, and I'll show you right now. All ratios are basically two fractions compared to each other. So this fraction is 12 baht. So we're gonna put the money on top compared to 450 cc's. Now the other one is 10 baht. So how many milliliters does this one have to be in order for you to get the same value out of it? How you do ratios is very easy. You just go multiply that way and then divide that way. So this one is multiply, this one is divide. And then that will give you your answer. All right, so now all you do is 450 times 10 divided by 12. It's 375. So you've got, if you pay 12 baht, you get 450. If you pay 10 baht, you should get 375. Now we're going to take a look at the 10 baht bottle. It actually has 330. If you are getting the same value, you should be getting 375. So you put 330 here, and then your difference is 45 milliliters. So you're essentially losing 45 milliliters by buying the 10 baht bottle. So the 12 baht bottle is the better value and this shows you exactly how much money or how much milliliters of Coke you're losing. The next example we have, we have Lay's. Everyone loves Lay's. This bag costs 20 baht. This bag costs five baht. So you're at the store, you're like, well, if I buy the 20 baht bag, I'll probably get a lot more Lay's for my money. But if I buy the 5 buck bag, you know, it's cheap and whatever. But let's see exactly how much chips you are getting extra if you buy the big bag. And that's what ratios can tell you. So the first thing you do is you say, all right, this is 13 grams. So you've got 5 baht to 13 grams of legs. And now the next one is... 20 baht. So now if you want to know exactly how many grams should be in this bag, if you get the same price for the Lay's, how much you should have in here. And then you can decide if this is a good value or not by actually looking at the real number. You do 13 times 20, and then you take that and divide it by Five. So now take out your trusty calculator, do 13 times 20, 
divided by 5 is 52. Now, if you're going to pay 25 you, and just get one big bag, you think, okay, I'm going to get more than 52. And now, let's look at the bag. Oh, wow, it's 48. But the real number is 48 grams. So you're essentially losing four grams by buying the bigger bag. If you would buy four small bags, you are getting positive four, you are getting positive four grams of Lay's. Now that's really weird. Normally you think you always get more when you buy the bigger bag. Well, not in this case. If you buy four bags of these, of the small ones, you're getting more chips than if you buy one bag of this. Crazy, huh? And that's what ratios can tell you. So you can always use ratios when you're shopping. And it's super helpful to see if you're really getting a bargain, if you're getting a really good deal, or if it's not really that big of a deal and you can just buy the smaller pack because you're not saving that much by buying the bigger one. And ratios also help you with business, especially with farming. So right now in Thailand, it's the durian season. People are selling durian like crazy and they're making tons of money. You can use ratios when calculating how much money you might be making with a durian farm. Let's just say you have a friend and they have 30 trees and they made 400,000 baht. So you take 30 trees over 400,000 baht, right? Okay, and you say, well, that might seem like a lot of money, but I don't have enough space to put 30 trees on my land. Let's say you can put 10 trees on your land. So how much would you get if you made as much as your friend, but you put 10 trees on that? So you know you've got 10 trees. That's what you want. And when you set up your ratio, you have to make sure that the top, the unit in the top is the same, and the unit in the bottom is the same. If you had the trees on the bottom, you can do both. It doesn't matter. You can put trees on the bottom or trees on the top, but you have to make sure that both of the trees are on the same up or down. All right, calculator time. You have 400,000 baht times 10 trees divided by, divided by 30 equals 133,333 baht. So you see how that works? If you were to get the same amount of money as your friend, but you only have 10 trees, you'll know you can make 133,000 baht. So you can do this for anything, and these are super, super important to understand and to see how different kind of fractions with the same units can compare to each other. It's great for shopping, it's great for business, it's great for predicting your future revenue for whatever you might be doing. All right, so those are ratios. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.